say, yeah, but it's doing pretty good. Um, I mean, I think I got neater kicked in it, and it kind of triggered it, and uh, I just kind of went down. But the Dodgers took care of me, and it's, I'm on my way back. Also, it looked like their interior was really bothering you guys in the first quarter. You couldn't get the ball in. Just what did they do to limit those passes into the paint? Um, I mean, one thing about them is they take away your first option. I think that's our first option. Uh, I mean, everyone knows that. We try to get it inside the paint, but they just denied it. Uh, they really kind of took it away from us. But we found ways to get it in there. And once we got in there, we were successful. But it was a, we, uh, the guards did have kind of a tough time. And post also just showing our numbers, uh, it was very hard. But uh, when we got it in there, we were pretty successful. So they're obviously not the end result you wanted, but you were able to get in there and make an immediate impact. Did you see something about it? Just how do you? Why do you feel you were able to impact the game the way you were? Um, I just knew that with a team like that, you just have to be um, aggressive. Um, so that was my game plan coming into this game, just to be aggressive. And um, you know, when our options are taken away, just like Asia said, you have to figure out a way, which is driving to the basket, um, trying to get more fouls. Asia, because they put up so many points and because they can score from so many places, do they put? Do you guys feel the pressure to convert offensively, and maybe does that maybe force you out of an offensive rhythm sometimes? Um, I would say yes, because with a team like UConn, you can't go uh, like without scoring in the possessions. They kind of make you pay for it, and that's kind of tough when they really put points on the board. But I feel like uh, it's it's really just sticking with your system. I don't think it makes it hard for us to deviate, but it's really you just got to stay with your system at times like that. I know. When the ball's not going in, you really want to try to force something up because you see the other teams doing. They're putting up numbers, but you really just have to stick with the system. And I feel like we had kind of a hard time doing that because we were just so anxious to get something up because we knew we couldn't have a dead period where we didn't score any points. So, I mean, it is tough. It is tough, but I feel like we're on our way to work there, and I think this game uh, really did us good justice. Sarah, that was probably you know, one of your best games. You looked very aggressive in driving the ball. Is that something that you think you can do throughout the end of the season? Yeah, definitely. Um, just, you know, coming up the bench, you know, building momentum from my team, just, you know, showing up um, when I know they need me. Yeah. So moving forward, um, that's a mentality. Brian? AJ, you said about the last UConn game, you're kind of like a sponge, and you wanted to take that into this game as well. Where do you go from here after this game? Uh, it's the same as that feeling. I think we're going to learn from it. I think we learn from every game, win, lose, or draw. But uh, I think we're most definitely going to learn from this one, like the same thing we did last year. Uh, I'm still the sponge that I have last year. I feel like my teammates are sponges as well, and we're just going to get in the practice gym and just go at it. Anything else that stands out? Thank you, Evan. Mm -hmm.